Yeah, we've spoken to the FBI field office in Manhattan who've confirmed that they are uh, looking into the allegations, which is pretty much as, as far as the FBI will ever go in confirming that they are investigating uh, any particular matter. We know, of course, that they received a letter only yesterday from a congressman, the congressman from New York, uh, Peter King, asking them to do just that. The allegation being uh, that at some point uh, attempts were made or approaches were made uh, for a private investigator to try to get details of phone traffic and uh, uh, maybe passwords for, for mobile phones of, of some of those who died on September the 11th. The allegation being that involved the British victims of the attacks on the uh, on the Twin Towers. Uh, that call from Peter King was that the questions needed to be answered, uh, that uh, there are a lot of relatives, of course, who feel very strongly about this, just as uh, there are from, from victims of various crimes in the UK. Uh, and for that reason, it needed to be investigated. Until now, the FBI has, has stayed pretty quiet on whether it would be looking into these allegations, but that confirmation has now come. Alongside of this, of course, we have uh, those uh, uh, senators who believe there needs to be a, a separate investigation into whether any anti-corruption laws have been broken here in the U.S. Uh, because News Corp is a U.S. company, has a responsibility under those laws even for its employees elsewhere in the world. But that is a significant step forward that the FBI is looking into these allegations. Uh, it is, of course, a major step forward, although, of course, how detailed this investigation will be, we don't know.